Hey YouTube, super exciting day today. This rain barrel was empty earlier this week when I was installing the new spigot. It is now currently pretty full. I thought that 75 gallon with this 75 gallon would be enough storage, but it is <laughs> clearly not. I even tried using a couple of five gallons and there's a lot more in the back. Here's some small containers. This one is about 20 to 30 gallons. There is another one over here. And I even used <laughs> a bunch of these storage containers with our cooler, another 25, 30 gallon planting pot. The house only has half of the gutters up because I'm not putting the other ones when we don't have enough rain storage. Let's head inside, see if we could do some calculations to figure out how many bins I need to buy. I did a quick sketch. Our house is about 50 feet by 50 feet. The roof is this L shape with the front yard. Comes out to about 1800 square feet. This says 1000 square feet will get 600 gallons for every inch of rain. In the past seven days, most of LA has gotten an inch or two, so we need to <laughs> get as many gallons as we can. I'm going to try for two IBC totes that are 300 each. The nice looking 75s will go in the front yard. These I want with 50 because that seems like the most common in the hardware stores around here. We're also going to have a drain here for a dry creek bed. Let's go shopping and see what we can get. We are back from shopping. So happy that the Subaru Outback was able to fit four of these 55 gallon rain barrels. Unfortunately, the popular hardware stores like Home Depot and Lowe's did not sell them. So I had to go with a local shop. They were about $87 each. Super awesome people. Love shopping locally. The sun's going down. So we're gonna end the video here. Figure out what to do with these later. Video number 96 done.